on mouth locations of English speech sounds. I discussed earlier that language to language sound differ in their mouth location and sound production mechanism. So far as one, let me start with one barrier or one variation that is from Hindi to English. While production of consonant sounds according to the recommendation of Panini Hindi sound pattern begins with ka, kha, ga, ga, ga. So far as consonants are concerned. We easily can identify that how a particular sound is produced and the whole range of sequence of consonant sounds in one cue, they are rolled together, they are maintained together. Let us move to the English so that you can easily identify that variation and sound production mechanism so far as mouth locations are concerned. First English sound begins, so far as consonants are concerned, with pa and pa. English sounds will always come in pair. For example, pa and ba. These two will be produced by the use of both lips. So it became bilabial. There is one more bilabial sound, but that is more nasal, that is ma. So, while talking of sound pa and ba, same mechanism, but there is a difference. Very minute difference that while producing sound pa, there is no vibration in the vocal cord. That is why it is voiceless. And while producing sound ba, there will be <coughs> vibration in the vocal cord of a person who speaks. And then that's why it is voiced sound. And ma sound is, air will be blocked by the lips. But at the same time, air will be released by the nose. That's it became nasal ma. So, let us see. The articulators are the two lips. We could say that lower lip is the active articulator and upper lip the passive articulator. Though the upper lip usually moves too, at least a little, English bilabial sounds include pa, ba and ma. So there is one more thing. Two lips are used but one will be active and one will be passive. So, active articulator is lower lip, whereas the passive articulator is upper lip. But there is little movement also in passive articulator. It is not that absolutely passive. Move to the next slide. Mouth formation for bilabial sound, pa, ba, and ma. Then lab you did Labiodental sounds are produced, labiodental consonants like lower lip and upper teeth as, in, as indicated in the image and the lower lip is the active articulator and the upper teeth is the passive articulator. So English labiodental sounds include fa and v, as in fa, as in father, fan, friend, foe, v, as in van, and we, wood. This, so lower lip and upper teeth will be the root cause of labiodental sound, and fa and v. 
Similarly, one is wireless and wires. Mouth formation, lip and teeth formation for the sound of F and V. Here I would like to show you one more thing. See, what is it is used for file and then VAT. But I would like to use, tell you one more sound. O-F. Spelling O-F. It is not off. It is of. Sound is V. Of. And O double F. Of. O double F. Of. O F. Of. Moving to the dental sound. Dental sound involves the upper teeth as the passive articulator. The active articulator may either be the tongue tip or usually the tongue blade. The critic symbols can be used if it matters which extreme called interdental. English <coughs> interdental sounds include th and the th as in throw, the as in wind, think, throw, think, think, and then the wind, the, the, this, etc. Tongue and teeth position for th and the sound. For the tongue will be captured. It's sometimes interdental sort of thing. It will do teeth. You can say th the. Next. <coughs> How to make the sound for th? Place the tip of your tongue between your upper and lower teeth. Don't put it between your lips. Make the sound by forcing air through the opening between your teeth and tongue. Like teeth and tongue. Upper teeth and tongue. Tha. Forcing air between them. Then that is the tha sound. Don't vibrate your vocal cords. Then next please. How to make the sound <laughs> tha? Place the tip of your tongue between your upper and lower teeth. Don't put it between your lips. Make the sound by forcing air through the opening between your teeth and tongue. Vibrate your vocal cords as it's a wireless sound. Then there comes alveolar sounds. Alveolar sounds involve the alveolar rays. Alveolar rays means teeth rays, just back of your teeth. Alveolar sound involves alveolar rays as the passive articulator and the active articulator may be either the tongue blade or usually the tongue tip. Diacritic symbols can be used if it matters which English alveolar sounds includes ta, da, na, sa, za, na. So, Water, as in try to train time the as in cold do drink no as in neighbor nice no <coughs> sir as in saw spider and then play the as in scissors, zoo, and then finally la. So we found that that just back side of the teeth, as indicated in the image, is touched by the tongues are sometimes teeth rich. And then because of that teeth rich, that is alveolar rich, also known as alveolar rich. As the passive articulator, an active articulator may be either the tongue breed or usually the tongue tip. Diacritic symbols can be used if it matters with English alveolar.
one more thing I would like to uh, discuss of this point that uh, when we are going to produce tha sound, one slight back, please. Tha, yes. One more back. You just look at the image and try to identify the tongue location and you just at the same time realize the production mechanism of the sound la identify la sound and look at the tha sound but sometimes the sound is sound position is little varied how when you are going to speak health otherwise la sound your tongue is inside mouth la teeth reach it is touching teeth reach la but when you are going to speak have so tongue will la sound will come a bit outer side have so la is tongue is moving its location so move to the next yes now there is a post alveolar just little back to the teeth reach that you can see even hard plate ch and ch these two sounds are produced ch and ch ch and ch j as in june judge j then post alveolar sounds involve the area just behind the alveolar ridge as the passive articulator the active articulator may be either the tongue tip or usually the tongue blade. Diacritic symbols can be used if it matters which. English post alveolars include ch and ch. Moving to the palatal sound. Palatal. Sh and z. The Active articulator is the tongue body and the passive articulator is the heart palate. The English glide y is a palatal sound and then here sh and zh. Sh, y, zh. So this is sh as in shell, sh as in English, sh as in British, zh as in garage. Then there comes the sound, the Lord. What we are noticing here, as the journey moves forward in English sound production mechanism, we are noticing that the steps are moving inside the mouth, like pa lips. Then, inner part of the mouth, we are eating pa by the lips. Then, pa lower lip, upper teeth. So, passive articulators are also changing. Then teeth reach, then hard palate, then soft palate, like velour, then ultimately ha sound, ha, here, glottis. So this is the production mechanism, but Hindi, the variation is, we begin with the, this sound, velour sound, ka. Beginning sound is ka, 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 ka. So the mechanism is a bit reverse. The steps are followed for the sequencing is a bit English inside mouth we are coming Hindi inside mouth we are coming outside English outside mouth the upper uh, lips then teeth then teeth reach then hard palate soft palate and then glottis so that that is the reverse mechanism for both the languages so we learn the active articulator is the tongue body and the passive articulator is the soft palate. English velars include ka, ga, ma. Ga as in give, give, go, great, grand, grind, ka as in cap, king, can, could, na. As in ring, king, sing, Then there comes ha sound, glottal sound. And sound production mechanism is this is not strictly a place of articulation. 
but they have to put it in the chart somewhere. And you can say the air passage is wide open and the house out is coming out. Did you notice when the such thing happened? In the production of vowel, monophthongs or diphthongs, no complete blockage of the air. But here, ha. See, every passage is open. Ha. Happy. And air is coming out. And probably that is why ha is semi vowel. Ha is semi vowel. Why? No air is being blocked anywhere. Ha. In the production mechanism of wa. Wa. No air, full blockage of the air mechanism. No full blockage. So that is, that also sometimes comes in the category of semi -vowel. So Glotal, this is not strictly a place of articulation, but they had to put it in the chart somewhere. Glotal sounds are made in the larynx. For the glotal stop, the vocal cords close momentarily and cut off all air flow through the vocal tract. English uses the glotal stop in the interjection mm -hmm. meaning no in her the vocal cords are open but close enough together that air passing between them creates friction noise <coughs> so this is the chart of english sounds first top one, two, three, four. Left four lines, uh, three lines and four words. They are four, three and twelve. They are the pure monophthongs. Like E as in read, E as in sit, U as in book, U as in two, A as in men, A as in America, then a as in what, bird, O as in sword, I as in cat, A as in bat, cut, shut, A as in heart, O as in not. These three lines, 12 words. Then the right three lines and nine words. Three words, three lines. The right quadrant. First is ear, as in hear. Second is a, as in day, say. Third, ua, as in tua, sua, dua. Next is oi, as in boy, au, as in go. Then ear, ear. Air as in air, where, there, where, then, re as in my, and then, a u as in how. There is a one variation as in, as indicated in the sound, that is, a u, go, so, this is the British English, but Americans, O U, they speak a bit where I go with, where I go. O U, O, so, with, go, so, that is British. Go, so, that is American. Then bottom three lines represent eight symbols each. These 24 are consonants. As ha in pig, ba in bed, ta in time. Ja in do, then cha as in church, ja as in judge, ka as in killer, ga as in girl, fa as in five, wa as in very, and tha as in thing, da as in the or d, sa as in six, za as in zoo, sha as in short, and ja as in casual. Ma as in milk, na as in now, na as in thing, king, ha as in hello, 
لا as in life را as in red و as in window and يا as in yes that's it for the day thank you <coughs>